Good evening, coach. It is a little, maybe a little bit of a paradox because you have so many opportunities, chances tonight. Is a draw? Are you upset about the draw? And do you think your, your team deserves something better, like a win tonight? Good evening, everyone. Yes, no, without a doubt. I think we've had a very great game. We we could we would have deserved to win. I think we have been playing better than Newcastle, and the results doesn't reflect what happened on the pitch. But this is football. It's not always the the the, the, the team that has the most opportunities that wins. Good evening, coach. Bap, Kylian Mbappe has spoken about not being clinical enough. S seven shot on targets. Do you share Kylian Mbappe's belief and are you worried about the rest of the competition? Uh, we're talking about football, it's not basketball, obviously. Yeah. We are one of the team in Europe that scores the most goals, no doubt. And sometimes, you know, you, the ball doesn't want to hit the goal. So that's what also makes football beautiful, you know? I mean, today, honestly, I would like to highlight that, you know, the fans that were in and our players, uh, we've, for 70 minutes, we were behind and the fans have never stopped giving voice for us. And you know we've managed to the equalizer in the ninety third minute, so it's it's a it's a movie a horror movie scenario a little bit, and you know it's good that we managed to qualify now so fast. So you've asked Mbappe to you know, maybe do better in his game. Are you happy with what Kylian Mbappe has been producing tonight? Tonight, I'm very happy about Kylian Mbappe's behavior, and the same for every player. It's more of a it's more of a frustrating game tonight. We couldn't score, so when the goal doesn't want to hit the net, it's it's so hard. It's we for a, a, a very long time we were behind and against a, a strong team of Newcastle that could have opportunities um, to counter attack. So I'm still very really happy about the ability of our players, uh, you know, not, not to be too frustrated and, and manage to score in the end. Tonight, uh, you have shown a lot of, um, uh, uh, you were a lot more aggressive in your game and, you know, you've been, in, you had the, the ball possession was 72%. Uh, however, we, we've, <laughs> We felt that Lee has lost many games, you know, and usually he doesn't lose that many games. So what, what do you think about that? I think it was um, in a game of that intensity and that level. I think the players are trying to, to do their best and there's always an opponent, you know, in front of him. And I, I've, I've got to say that Newcastle have shown a, an amazing level throughout the game and players are not uh, robots and some days, you know, they're human some days they may play better than other days I repeat uh, I like the um, I like the attitude of the players uh, when we have problems not when it's easy, you know but when you lose and you feel that it's, it's not fair it's easy to just remain frustrated, you know and until the 98th minute, we were in this game. You have delivered um, a great game against Monaco and you still decided to change, you know, uh, your formation and the team against Newcastle. Could you explain to us why? And do you think that and, and Dembele will be uh, suspended for the next match? What you know, how, how do you think it's going to turn out to be? 
Yes, it's it's. This is how lucky I am. You know, I have a huge team with a deep, deep, you know, bench uh, options. That Dembele is is. Yeah, we wanted to dominate our opponent tonight, and I think this this is what we did. We're above tonight. The com What's complicated now in this team is that if we were losing, we could still make it through, and if we draw, we could still get, we could still not make it out of the group phases. So I think anyway, the most important thing is that we are the master of our fate, and this is what we need. We need to choose our destiny. Uh, Newcastle coach think that there's no penalty kick tonight. What do you think? I haven't, I haven't checked the video, you know, so this is not my job. My job is to improve my the way my team is playing. That's it. Your group is pretty young. Do you think you're missing some experience, maybe for this type of situation, especially when you're leading uh, the game? And do you think the experience has an impact this type of a game? No, I don't think uh, it's linked to the experience or having a young team tonight. I think we've shown we've shown that we have a strong team, you know, a strong mentality until the final whistle we've been able to you know to produce a great game sometime it looked like some you know table tennis that the game was going left right left right you know right there in in, in the box but and I, I couldn't believe we couldn't score but I'm still really proud of my of my team we had this ability to go and play besides despite the frustration Yes, so you've said that this was a really open group and you could have been eliminated and you could also be qualified. And is this really like a fear for you to, to, to end up in Europa League? It's a, it's a comment, but I have nothing to say about this. I respect the opponent, you know. Um, ask me something about my team, I could answer. But if you ask something about the other team, you know, honestly, I have many things to think about. So thank you for